Hey YouTube, hey Georgia Bigfoot here. I want to do a uh, testimonial about the Ameramax gutter guards. This is the third time I've installed these. Not on this house, but on other houses. One on my mom's house and my grandmother's house. And, um, and uh, they've been great. They're inexpensive, they work good. But I want to tell y'all some caveats to them. They say they snap in, but my experience has been they don't snap in very well. I mean, they do kind of in a roundabout way um, hook in, but not very secure. And um, these are five inch gutters. And the only one they sell is a six inch screen. And uh, so I'm always having, I used to try to trim them and cut the metal, but it was difficult. So now I just bend them along a uh, edge and I bend them to be about three and a half inches so that they um, they sort of like slide under the shingles. And while these work good, um, they do collect debris. And if you don't scrape off the debris from time to time, the debris will solidify and then the water will just kind of come down the roof and go over it. Now, of course, sweeping them off is a lot easier than uh, scooping them out. And, um, and so that's my opinion is that it's better just, um, it's better just to sort of stay on it and brush them off, you know, about once a year. If you wait two years, it's too long. At least where we live here in Southeast Georgia, or the Southeast. Now, the thing about them is, is cause they are kind of tricky to cut. I've learned on the end pieces, like down there, past that downspout and right here, I like to use the Merrimax foam. You can get like a uh, 36 inch piece at Home Depot for like this year in 2024, I believe it's 588. And I just trim out a piece and we'll shove it. So part of it is under the screen and part of it's here. Now, does that look a little tacky? Yes, it does, but from the ground, you can't see it. And also to consider is that um, I, do, I do believe that over time, um, if you don't, stay brushing the stuff off there will be some things that will start growing in this it'll be just i don't know little little organisms that fall in there and they develop a little seed and they grow now you can cut the metal to put in there like if you have a tag in like that and i thought about that but in my opinion it's just easier to leave it like this and that way then if you need to pull it out you just grab it and you know pull it out you could always put like another piece in i'm gonna have some leftover material um, I used to try these in length uh, at my grandmother's house. She had a big pecan tree. That, that's the foam ones. And there totally would be like little pecan trees growing <laughs> in the foam. I guess enough dirt and silt would go in there. And then like a little uh, nut seed somehow would develop in there. And they'd be growing in there. Like little itty bitty ones. So anyway. And these uh, screws... Um, you can buy like a four pack of screws, these right size screws. You just have to depend on which size. These are the half inch long ones. You don't want them too long because otherwise they'll poke through the bottom of the gutter. And um, I also use like a screwdriver when I'm installing these to stick the screwdriver in the screen so I can like pull it out so it's tight with here when you're, when you're screwing them in. I mean, it's kind of janky, but they work. They do work. And I did them up along the top here too. And, um, and I'm sure there's better options out there that cost way more money. In this case, you're going to do them yourself. Of course, be careful on your ladder. I use the um, Home Depot Gorilla brand ladder. I've loved these ladders. I've had this ladder now for a couple years, and it's been very, very multi-purpose. And what I like most about it is the feet on them. Should they wear out, you can replace them. They just unscrew out, and you can replace them, which is cool. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to show some video here in a second of um, the gutters at my mom's house. And those gutters um, were got damaged in a storm when a tree fell on them. And then I replaced them. And so they, they went two years without being cleaned. And I'll show you what that debris looked like on these Ameramax, the metal ones, after two years. But the point is, is we liked them so much that the ones that they had been damaged by the tree hitting it, uh, those um, at that time had been three years old. So I've had dealings with these now for five years. 
and they're pretty good. And uh, anyway, I, I can't say the can't say anything better about them.